So yes, this week guys, we're just gonna have a little look at some iron striking. So I've had a couple of lessons this week that have really struggled with just skidding the club in behind the ball. So no, not massive divots, just a little bit in behind it, just taking away from that strike, which is causing us to lose a bit of distance and at times a little bit of direction. So I just thought I'd make a quick video, just one small tip on where I think people can really, really gain in terms of the accuracy with some short approach shots. So that's just a little heavy and a little left. Is that you? So guys, if that shot that I've just hit is you, then we're gonna give you a nice, easy drill and some drills that you can do inside that's really gonna help with that movement. Now you'll notice as I play this back in slow motion, there's a little bit of travel on the, onto the right side. So what I mean by that is as I take my backswing, you can see that my body and my head and all of my mass moves backwards. Now I'm gonna to struggle to get that back to the ball and then in front of that and continue to turn out the way and get the strike on the target side of the golf ball where I'd want it. So I'd want to go ball turf, and at the moment I'm going turf ball. So how are we going to do that? So we're gonna have a little look at one easy, easy drill that's really gonna help you with this on the range and you can do it at home. So no having to lug everything down to the range to hit 100 balls in the cold. You can stay indoors and still do the same thing. Okay guys, so we talked about the travel onto the right hand side, but what I mean by that is all of my weight moving across, my head getting over my right foot, and then from there, not ever returning to the center, so getting it a little bit heavy in here, just into the shot, and then here, and then we all see it, we get right to here at the finish, and think that we've done it okay, when the strike wasn't quite as we wanted it. So. I want you to imagine that somebody's got hold of your head in your backswing. So if somebody had hold of your head or if there was a book on your head, then you would be very aware that there was a book on your head and we'd stay a little bit more in the centre of our feet. So my head would stay a little bit more centred over the top of my, my zip here. You can see that my head's now not dragging back. We're gonna really stay nice and centered and let that left shoulder come in to join us and stay around your center point, which would be your spine. So now from there, you can really just have to focus on, now I can just work forward, start to unwind the body, start to turn this left side out of the way and then come down, get a little bit of a better strike, hopefully, and get the contact with the ground target side of the ball. So get people to do this all the time and do it as a pre-shot routine on the course. Put the club in line with the ball. Feel like the left shoulder turns through 90 degrees, meets me in the middle, and then just getting across there. So just nicking the grass out here. It doesn't need to be a massive thump into the ground, but we do need to be getting this side. hear how now I've got the target side of the ball so we're going to really try and feel like head stays nice and still or as still as you can bring that left shoulder in to meet us nicer strike better feeling on the way through and it's just a nice simple way to try and get that striking if it is a problem and you feel like you are moving back too much or if it's something that's been highlighted to you by your PJ Pro then it's something that you could have a little work on inside and out so at the range you would need to have something that maybe there'd be a mirror behind you or something you can get some feedback from so you can actually see what you're trying to do so we're just trying to stay nice and still there Justin Rose is a great one to watch on this Shows, um, get some footage of him from front on see how nice and still he stays. He really stays in that posture well, down and one of the better ball strikers in the world. And obviously, 
it just shows just how consistent he has been throughout his career. Just going to give you a drill to do now that you can do at home in the wall. Okay, so a wall, any surface at home. And then all we're going to do is put our head on the wall and take our normal golf stance. So you can do it with your arms down. I tend to do it with across my shoulders. And now all we're going to do is just complete a backswing with the head on the wall. So now from there, you're just training this left shoulder to come in to 90 degrees, but you're turning around a nice centered point. What we wouldn't have you do at this point is drag your head along the wall over your trail foot. So we're gonna stay in, take the posture, turn through 90, normal follow through. So you're moving from the centered point forwards. So a nice easy drill and you can do it in the wall. So guys, just a quick video there. Just had a few people with that sort of same theme running through this week. So just thought I'd just make a quick video to uh, put out to you guys. If it's something that you're struggling with, give it a go. Hit the comments section up. Let me know how you've got on with it. If you've got any other really good drills for exactly the same thing, we'd all, wait, all be uh, interested in hearing about those. So if you've liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. That would help us out massively. Ring the bell icon, get all of our videos as soon as we release them, and we'll see you down here on the channel again very, very soon. Thanks a lot, guys. If I can be a little bit like Justin Rose, that'd be great.